Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It's about 9 a.m. I'm up in North Naples, Florida at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. I'm just getting ready to have my Thursday morning conversation with our friend Roy. 81 degrees right now, expecting it to hit 92 today, 92. Sure doesn't feel like fall here in North Naples. But it is nice. The weather is nice. We do have the red tide we're dealing with. Did see some signs of red tide earlier during my beach walk. We saw some dead fish on the beach up near the pass. Up by Wiggins Pass at the north end of the park. It looks really nice out here. I saw some dolphins during our beach walk. Towards the end of our beach walk, we saw a couple dolphins. They were kind of offshore. We got one came in kind of close, got a good glimpse of one of them, but it's just nice to know the dolphins are out there. It doesn't look like there's red tide along the shore, but it is definitely not too far offshore. That's for sure. The wind is blowing offshore now from the northeast what little wind there is so any of that smell is getting carried away from us but i am pretty certain there is red tide out in the gulf and in pockets along our beaches here in southwest florida they're going to be doing some testing today we'll post the results of that probably tonight Late this afternoon, tonight, should be able to see him by tomorrow. Oh, there's a dolphin coming up the beach right over here. I just saw a dolphin come out of the water. I just saw one come up out of the water. They've been going back and forth quite a bit this morning. Let's see if we see it come up here. Keep your eyes peeled. It's swimming towards the right. We might get one quick glimpse. It's moving kind of fast. Keep your eyes peeled where it's going to come up. I don't know. I don't see any ripples in the water. Where are you, Mr. Dolphin? Stand under for quite a while here. Oop, came over on the right. Did you see it there? Did you see it? Very cool. Well, that's nice. We even get to see a dolphin here when I'm getting ready to chat with Roy. Sweet. So they are out here. They are out here swimming around. I don't know if we're going to see it again. Oop, there it is. There it is. I love it. I love seeing those guys out here. It's good luck when you see a, see a dolphin in the morning. You're going to have a good day. They should come in closer for us, but that's all right. We got a glimpse of him. He's eating into my Roy time. Roy's got to head out of here. And there he was one more time there. Roy's got to head to the dentist here, so I want to go over and have my chat with him before he leaves. So let's head over to the pine trees, head up under the trees. I think there's a lot of activity up to the north end of the beach here. You see a lot of pelicans. A lot of times where there's pelicans, there's dolphins. Well, let's go see how Roy is doing. You should have been blowing that whistle. Boy, he was traveling, wasn't he? Yeah, you should have been blowing that whistle, yeah, man. Think of it. Boy, he was on the move. That's the 
That's the third one I saw this morning. Yeah, me too. They've been it sur surfaced here and then way over there before you, yeah. I saw them again. Yep. At least we're seeing them. Yeah, right. That's a good thing. Yeah. I saw two up there swimming around. To begin with, he was right out in front of you, wasn't he? Yep. All of a sudden, he popped up there. Yeah. That's a good, a good feeling when you see the dolphins. Isn't that right? This makes you happy inside. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think there's a couple swimming up at the north end there, too. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they're hanging out up there this morning. Oh, so how you feeling? Wonderful, just wonderful. So you got to the doctor yesterday, that was good. And I was reading, yeah. Said, what was it? A blood clot. Yeah. A blood clot in your calf is what's causing that swelling. Yeah, that's the whole deal, I guess. So a little baby aspirin for now. Yeah, I was reading the, the instructions on this... Um, the side of the boy, have, if you take this every day, you should read those. Yep. It's, you take it's them every amazing day. what problems they could it could give you. Yeah, I'll take those little problems over heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Warnings. So yeah. read, read your read everything your comes with everything comes with warnings, even your apples and oranges. <laughs> <laughs> no, no warnings there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't swallow the seeds. You might get yeah. an orange tree growing in you. Drug facts. Ask the doctor if. Warnings. Ray's syndrome. You Ray's. don't want Ray's syndrome. Ray's? R-E-Y-E-S. No, I don't want that. He says it's rare, but, but very serious. There you go. Well, I don't think I have it, unless could, it means it could makes give you, you Ray's syndrome. Unless it means it makes you want to go to the beach a lot. <laughs> Maybe that's Ray's syndrome. Maybe you and I have raised. I don't think it's quite the beach a lot that you go. <laughs> <laughs> and all kind of stomach ulcers and problems. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So be careful with aspirin, that aspirin. Aspirin can cause ulcers, yeah. Yeah, pretty powerful stuff. Well, I've been taking it for, oh, well over 10 years. Really? And you're still around, huh? I'm still around, <laughs> just <laughs> like you. How about that? Isn't that amazing? I oh, get... man. So uh, how long did they say it take to see some results? If that well, I guess I don't remember asking them that. Did they say, do you have to do anything else besides take aspirin? Do you have to massage it or? Got to go back and see the doctor. Of course. <laughs> that guy needs to pay his mortgage. <laughs> when's, well, the next, when's the next appointment? Oh, next Tuesday, I think. Tuesday? But this, that'll be the third doctor I saw in relation to this. Yeah. Well, you saw the wound. Did you see the wound care guy, too? Well, first I went to Woodruff, and then I went to the wound care, and then uh, then they got into me an appointment with my regular doctor, Doc Best. So, so it's a big go-round, well, but hopefully it'll get squared away. How's the other stuff doing from your fall? Oh, that's healing up. That's good. That's good. Yeah, and they did say, I thought about that too, that possibly this trauma here caused that. Oh, really? Not there, yeah. Really? There could have been a relationship, so. So when you fell and you cut yourself up here, that cut, that big one that's wrapped up there. Yeah. That could have caused the blood clot because it is lower than that. It is, you said it's yeah. in your calf, the blood clot? Yeah, down here. Down somewhere. in there. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, that could have caused it. But that foot is... Still big. Isn't it though? Man. It's amazing. Don't, don't take pictures. What's of amazing it's is how pretty. what's amazing is how it can swell up like that, isn't it? You how fleck how pliable your skin is? I mean that's just crazy. You would think your skin would tear. Wouldn't you though? Just the body is a, an amazing thing. Yeah. An amazing thing. Yeah. But you're an amazing man. No, not at all. Yes, you are. You're Mr. Not amazing. But this whole leg thing has been going on for better than a year. Well, yeah. That was quite a. I mean, you came. Quite a deal. You came close to seeing the pearly gates with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hope they're still there when I get there. <laughs> oh, they'll be there. They'll be wide open for well, you. If I get there, yeah. If you get there, yeah, we I, all got to... I got to behave myself. Yeah, we all got to behave ourselves to get in the pearly gates, man. St. <laughs> Peter will be there checking yep. things out. 
St. Peter, is that the one that has the big book there with the list of all the things you did bad? Oh, is that right? <laughs> what, who is that? That's Boy, that would be somebody's... a big book. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's on computer now. No, oh, I'm sure. He has it on a little... Um, computer. He has it on a, a, uh, on a pad. A phone, yeah. yeah, an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That makes it a lot easier uh, for St. Peter. And faster, too, than yeah, thumbing I... through all the pages. I wonder if God is sitting in his big throne chair just checking his computer. Probably now. <laughs> he probably has a, I'm sure he has a computer by now. <laughs> keeping tabs on us. Yeah. I wonder if he's got the latest design. I suppose so. I hope so. The latest operating system. They call that the operating <laughs> system. He's got some maintenance engineers at his elbow. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, he's got all the ones that came from here and went up to there. <laughs> I guess you don't have to worry about getting the viruses on your computer up there. I think they got <laughs> no that. viruses up there. I think they got that taken care of. <laughs> but I'm sure the devil's working on the devil probably has something to do with those computer viruses. Yeah, hacking into sure. the computers. Man. Yeah, I, well, they need a, a pretty good computer to run the run the whole the whole heavens and the galaxies and the stars. Isn't that something. I mean, all those orbits got to be computerized. What if God's a computer? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? There were some movies that kind of alluded to that. Really? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, some science fiction movies. Oh. But you know. It's amazing what happens when you let your imagination run wild. Yeah. You can dream up all kinds of things. Well, it's nice that we always speak of God in the masculine. As a man. Yeah, as a yeah. man. You don't say she. Yeah, why is that? <laughs> it's the male ego. <laughs> the male ego. We think we're God sometimes, don't we? Sometimes we do think we are God. No. You think we're invincible. Man. So how was that apple pie last Homes night? Homes are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. There you go. <laughs> beautiful. That was a beautiful poem. <laughs> how was that apple pie, that homemade apple that pie? That was good. What was that guy's name, Will, that made that? Yeah, yeah, Will. Will. Was he from Switzerland or from here? I don't know, San, San Francisco. Oh, San Francisco. Okay. Yeah, but ben, ben and Monica from Switzerland. He's their friend. Yeah. Wow. Is he a chef? Uh, or baby? I don't think so. He just enjoys cooking. He just enjoys cooking. Yeah. Man. I thought I saw you guys up here in the distance when I looked up. Yeah, we were back here. I think you were down here. Well, I was out. I was down there out on the beach for sunset. Yeah. You moved out onto the beach for sunset. Yeah, you? yeah. Yeah. Okay, boy, those lightning bolts, man. What, wasn't that something? Right when the sun was going down, the bolt streaking down right either side of it, yep. boy. That was really neat to watch. Yeah. That's just as fun as watching the sunset. I was going to say, it even eclipsed the sunset. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. It was. But I, didn't hear any thunder boom. Oh, I did. I heard some. Did you? Yep, I heard some thunder. But it took a long time to get here. Must have been a long ways away. Yeah, that storm was far out there. Yeah. By my calculation methods, why we could have figured it out. It was light years away. <laughs> <laughs> but it really, it seemed like it, it, it really intensified the color right down there by the storm. It got really bright, or that yeah. deep orange color there, yeah. right by the edge of the storm. Right down at the bottom, yeah. yeah. It's always fun. You oh, never, I love sunset, You yeah. just never know what you're going to see. It's a special time. Yeah, you never know what you're going to see out here. And you never know when it's going to happen. Sometimes it explodes and then fizzles out. Sometimes it's nothing, then it yeah. explodes. Yeah, sometimes it starts like like nothing at all and it turns out to be yeah. beautiful. And sometimes the whole thing is beautiful. That's the whole sky just It's always gorgeous, no matter yeah. what. Amen to that. And the breeze usually perks up a little bit. And what word describes all of that? One word? Phenomenal. Phenomenal? <laughs> there you go. Your word of the day is phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal is the word of the day. Yeah, that's for See, sure. See, I snuck in there and got a word of the day out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I caught you off guard and you, phenomenal. just like that, phenomenal. Yeah. I think it is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Everything we witness here is phenomenal. Isn't it though? Yep. 
And the human beings are phenomenal. They're, we are the most phenomenal. We are quite phenomenal. Our bodies, the way they work, and the way we think, and the things we do. The yeah, things the, we bra make. the brains we have, that's, that's the phenomenal part, because well, all, all wildlife has got some sort of a control center, but they can't quite uh, reason the way we right, do it. Right, it's the think. reasoning that separates us from the animals. Yeah. Monkeys, apes, they can reason to some degree, but not like the human beings. Yeah, well, and then yeah. there's some human beings that can reason about the same as monkeys, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but no, we are definitely the king of the jungle. Yeah, when my kids way back when and went to school, they, when they came running home and said, Dad, Dad, did you know that we're descended from the apes? And I said, you may be descended from an ape. I am descended from a lion. There you go. That took care of that whole deal. <laughs> so they go back and explain that to their teacher and <laughs> fail the class? <laughs> My dad is descended from a lion. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that reminds me. How are your kids doing? How's Kathy doing? Oh, wonderful. I talked to her the other day. She's really great. Doing good? Yeah, yeah. Good, good. The kids are... Well, one's off to college, and wow. the other is involved in debating contests, and I don't know what all. Wow. <laughs> and now are they, she's in Wisconsin? Is she up in Wisconsin, or where is she? Illinois, Illinois. Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. And our girl is going to my old alma mater, Mich University of Michigan. Her granddaughter's going to your alma mater? Yeah, Sweet. how about that? What was her name? Claire. Claire. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. I've met them down here. Yeah, one, yeah, they once were or here. Twice. Yeah, once or twice. Last time, last couple times Kathy came down, she was by herself. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, phenomenal. On this phenomenal day, do you have any phenomenal music for us? <laughs> well, I got music, but I don't think it's phenomenal. Well, if you're going to play it, it's phenomenal. <laughs> Well, at least everybody seems to think so. You did, saw all those hearts coming across the screen. Did this we morning. work on the railroad last time? Oh, we did. We always seem to work on that railroad. We almost have it built. Oh, it I takes another a couple lot years. of work, though. Oh, yeah. Another, I think we've got to replace some of the ties, baby. Oh, yeah. we got to go back where we started from. Some of the ties are, yeah. are getting rotten. Getting rotten. <laughs> you don't want rotten ties on your railroad. <laughs> Got to get that extra note in there. That big finish. Got to get the big finish. That's the best. Oh, man. Nothing like working on the old railroad to get yeah. the heart pumping. That's right. <laughs> and the lungs going. Man. On the Our 80. old Kentucky Kim. Is old she Kentucky watching? Kim, yeah. She always watches. There you go.
Whoa, get that vibrato in there. That's nice. Get oh, that. Kentucky Kim. She's she called the other night. I'm sorry, Mr. Call. Kim called. Tried you? to call her back. Could her get her? Yeah. Oh man, and you missed it. Oh. She was concerned about how I was doing. Well, everybody's concerned, man. You got a lot of friends worry about you out there. Bobby called. I got a hold of. I got. I called her bad. I got, I got her good. back. Good, good. Oh, Bobby. Bobby's <laughs> fun, isn't she? Yeah. Man, having her out here. Yeah, singing a song she, together. She's looking forward to getting back here. She said she can't get back here soon enough. Yeah, she's coming for my birthday, I guess. Is she going to make it for your birthday? That's what she said, She's going to yeah. make it earlier than January. How about that, yeah. Oh, we'll, boy, Bobby. We'll sing some songs together. Singing and dancing. Wouldn't that be a blast? Singing and dancing on the beach, Singing man. and dancing. Woo-hoo! Silvery moon. Life is glorious. Man. Silvery moon, yeah. <laughs> The silvery moon. <laughs> I love the ending. The little twist there on the end. Oh man. Well, how about our little theme song, You Are My Sunshine? Since we got some sunshine out there. Yeah, here, we do. Isn't it great? We got some nice sunshine. theme song you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much i love you please don't take my sun shine away <laughs> <laughs> is that a duet uh, sort of a duet <laughs> sort yeah sort of a duet <laughs> kind of a bad sort <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was funny oh boy well, it's getting time for you to be shoving off here, Daddy-O. It's getting close to 9.30, isn't it? Ooh, you're right. Getting close there, man. Oh, yeah. I time to hit, hit the, the old dentist. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's good seeing you today. Yeah, I got to be there. You gonna, you gonna come back? Yeah. You planning on how long did they tell you it's gonna take? An hour or so? Oh, just half a day. No, no big just deal. Just half a day. Well, that's waiting for the dentist. All right, the procedures. Then she comes in and does it in three minutes. There you go. <laughs> Do you know what? When they, when they took my wife's, they took the upper, all of her upper teeth out. Oh dear. I couldn't believe how fast they did that. I mean, it was under a half hour. Really? She was in and out in less than like a half hour. Oof. Just absolutely incredible. Wow. Man. All right. Well, you be careful on the road there. I wonder in the jungle, no, the, the animals don't brush their teeth, do they? No. Nope. They use toothpaste or anything, or no, dental no frost? No, toothpaste. They don't go see the dentist. I wonder if they get rotten teeth. They do. You'll see monkeys, and you see a lot of animals with bad teeth. Oh, is that right? And yeah. And I mean, it's kind of nature kind of takes care of them with what they eat. I wonder if they get toothaches. I'm sure they do. They get sick, just like we get sick, everything. Mr. Iowa, yeah. there they goes They got Mr. emergency Iowa. care? <laughs> Not a, they, you have to have walk-in clinics out in the jungle for them. <laughs> walk-in clinic? Yep. Maybe they would bound in. Leap, leap in clinics. Dr. Doolittle has clinics all around for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a tough deal for them because you figure we're the, the mount, we got to see the doctors. Yeah. And the animals, they don't have any doctors. No. They just got to So what do you it. do? Tough it out until so you they... want to head out to the jungles and take care of them? 
What do I you guess, think? I guess some people do worry about them. They do. If <laughs> they didn't, they wouldn't be around, a lot of them. Believe ah. me. All right, get off to the dentist. Off we go. Off you go. Into the wild blue yonder. Into the wild blue yonder. Tally-ho, daddy-o. Tally-ho. See you in a bit. You need a boost? No, no. You sure? I can just dump you out of the chair there. You sure you don't want a hand? I can push up on the chair. It's easier if you pull want, yourself I want, up. I don't want you to drop your machine. I'm not going to drop my machine. I don't care about my camera. Up. It's you. Uh, You're more important than the uh, old camera. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> I want you, sweet. you know, it's nothing like a boost. Yeah. Nothing like a helping hand now and then. A boost at the roost. A boost at the roost. We all need a helping hand now and then. I think I'll have a swig before I hit the Good bed. idea. The more water, the merrier. Drink up, Captain Hazy. Non Wait. Non-alcoholic beverage. Non yeah, you and Richie yesterday, man. <laughs> carrying on about that. All day about the drinking at the church. Oh, boy. Are you going to go to that, uh, that shindig? at the church well i guess november no it's just a week said away november 2nd yeah it's yeah, just the it weekend sounds, after next sounds like a lot of fun a sock hop an old sock hop at yeah, st john's i get out my old sweatpants there you, there you suppose, go huh uh, i think you're supposed to dress up nice if you don't dress in period clothes if you don't have clothes from the sock hop days well isn't that the when they wore their no i Zoot suit. The zoot suit, man. The zoot suit. I don't have a zoot suit. No zoot suit. Yeah, mine's mine's at the cleaners right now. I'm sorry. Or I'd let you borrow it. Okay. Might be a little big. I'm off. You're off. All right. Be careful out there. Yeah, I'll be don't back. Don't be bouncing off the curbs. I'll be back. Okay. Tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> off he goes. God bless him. One more quick look around here. Hey, good morning. One more quick look around here at the beautiful beach. Woo! Went solar on me there. Woo, nuclear. Beautiful out here. That was fun. We started out with the, getting a little glimpse of a dolphin swimming by. That was a great start to our conversation this morning. Be sure to check out this morning's beach walk. Two videos this morning. I lost my live feed there. I had to start a second one. Sunrise was beautiful in the first live feed. Hey, if you like what you see, tell your friends. Please, please share my Southwest Florida television page if you can figure out how to do that. I'd like to see our fan base increase here, the amount of followers, as well as the amount of supporters. If you're not a supporter, please consider becoming a supporter of Southwest Florida Television. It's because of the supporters that I'm able to bring you videos like this and my morning beach walk. And this is a happy place here on Facebook, Southwest Florida Television. Lots of beautiful friends, beautiful people following along with us, including yourself. Well, have a wonderful day or evening whatever time it is, wherever you're watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.